Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am Rohit. Today we will talk about that how we can install the mid server. Before we talk about the how we can install the mid server, why we need the mid server. server is an application which runs on the Windows system or in your Linux system and which help you to interact with your server like Linux server or the Windows server. So to install the mid server, even for the discovery for in the CMDB, uh, it's play a major role of the mid server. Okay. To install the mid server, you have to type the mid at server and then here is the installation instruction. You can go and check that. Okay. And also after that, uh, once you go through those, uh, you have to click the download options here. Once you down, click the download option based on your uh, systems, you will have to download these uh, these of the applications. And then so once you uh, download that um, application, you need to be installed. So I have already downloaded this file. So go back to my uh, Explorer. And if I click the download, this file is already downloaded. You have to go to the sys underscore user table and you have to create a user which user actually interact with your mid server. So I'm going to create a new user uh, for our case. So click new. Now in the user ID, you have to type the user ID. I'll put that meet underscore server as a user ID. And then and the first name I'll put that meet and last name I'll put the server and just simply uh, set the password i will quickly set the password the password i have already put the same password called meet underscore server and then click save once your uh, user is created you can create any of this uh, name once the user is created make sure that you give the role as a meet underscore server role So we'll give that user role as a meet underscore server. This role and click save. So that's it. The user creation is done. Now um, we need to be go back to our file and check that how we can install. So this is our uh, MIS file. What we will do? We'll copy this or copy this file to our actual directory. Uh, this was this is our C drive. So we'll create a folder here called new folder called meet server. So we create a folder called meet server and then paste that file under this uh, folder. So after copy this file uh, from download to the uh, C drive, what do you have to do? Go and double click here to install that. So once I'm clicking here, you can see there is some issues uh, which is showing right now. So this is the service now product buck right now. What we can do, right click and rename that. Meet setup. I'll just do the rename. Now after that, what I have, I'll do that. I'll go and search the CMD here and right click run as an administrator and we click yes and then we have to find out that where this file is go and check the properties the file is right now present c drive mid server we will do that so what we will do cd dot dot and then again cd dot dot i'll go to that that part so So that path I am right now. Now what I have to do, I have to execute that file for that AMR FSI EXE C then space slash I then file name meet underscore setup. And hit enter. So once you click hit enter, you can see your mid server is open. Now click the file and click the I accept and click next. Here you need your ServiceNow URL. And then here I have to put the username, our case meet underscore server. That is the username and the same password meet underscore 
um, user. Once you put the username and password, click paste your connection. So you can see it's saying that connection tested successfully and then go to the next. So now once you click this uh, next button, so you will be come to this page here. What you have to do, you have to put your uh, meet server name. So what I'll do that, I'll put that my underscore meet underscore server page. And now what we have to do, we have to create a service account as a service click on here on the start and type my computer and then this is the pc right click and then uh, click on that uh, manage so now once you click the user just do right click and a uh, new user here put the username meet underscore server pull name meet server set the password meet underscore server do the same thing meet underscore server and then click that create so after you successfully created this user what you have to do uh, you have to type that in your uh, here you have to type that local security policy click here so this is your it will be open a local security policy and then uh, you have to click the local security policy here and then you have to click the user assignment uh, right assignment and then there should be somewhere uh, mentioned that log on as a service just find out that so you can see there is a one file called logon as a service double click on that Now go back to your uh, this page and put your uh, username meet underscore acr server actually it's not put the full name and here my password meet underscore server and click that validate meet server setting so once the validate meet server setting is validated click next change the path so our case we are going to install the mid server under mid server file so click ok click next select the start mid server after installation click next and click install so now you can see my mid server installation done click the finish so you have to open this, uh, now you have to open this agent file and right click and then click on run as an administrator. The agent file will be located under the C drive. So if you open the C drive and then open the mid server folder where you install, you will be able to find the agent file. Now we have to, once you click the installer, you will be able to see the configuration page again. And then here you need to put the meet underscore server that username and the password or you already provided that meet underscore server. So I'll put the same username and password and click test connections. It will take some time. Connection is validated. Now we have to click the next. Just review the meet server configuration and click next. And then here all the details and just click the start meet server. Once you click the start meet server, the, after a few seconds, the mid server will be visible on your um, service now instance. And then uh, click on the server. So you can see your mid server is right now visible. And if I open that, the version is QBAC version right now. And this mid server is right now downstream. 
the state status of the mid server is down that's why what you will do you will click that exit and now scroll down here you need to click the validate here options and click save and you can see the state is validated right now so uh, now our mid server um, actually the mid server configuration is done our mid server is up and validated uh, so it means that our mid server uh, it's working fine so that's it for today thank you very much have a great day